I totally missed out on this one and I cannot believe I was able to get it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. So in today's video, we're gonna unbox my holy grail wishlist handbag. Finally fulfilled, finally. <laughs> a whole year later. But first I want to share with you a little fashion haul from JNBY which is also today's video sponsor. This is called their Slim Mesh Stripe pullover and it's a cotton blend. It also comes in blue and in black. In fact, I'm kind of eyeing both of those colors now. What I love about this top is that it's super lightweight but it's super super cute and fashionable and really really comfortable. So it's a rather thin material as you can see. Vertical stripes so that it elongates your body but also it has these not quite random, they're really specifically positioned sort of um, patterns all around the fabric so the front has one here and one here on the back it has a couple as well and it is a slight high collar which is great for this transitional weather i also love that it's super flexible there's actually a lot of room in it i did take a size small which is um you know basing on their chart and it was true to size for me. The way it drapes and the way it kind of conforms to your body is super, super pretty. I also love that it can be dressed down so easily. So I wore this with shorts and it was completely fine. You can definitely wear it with jeans, but you can also wear a nice skirt or a nice pair of trousers. You can use my coupon code AMY20 to save 20% at checkout. This company, they excel at kind of the shape and also the fabric and the drape that they that they do in their garments and just the overall design. So this one, I was really, really attracted to it because of the design. It did come in black as well, but I was just like, it's such a cute jacket with all these details. I wanted it to be seen. It has all these bow details. It has pockets and the pockets also have a zipper so you can close the little zipper for security. Love these little bow details. Uh, that is just so, that is just so unusual. It's unlined, so it's perfect for, again, the transitional weather, just something to throw on when it's a little cooler outside, but not quite as cold that you need insulation. And because it's oversized, it's definitely more on the casual side, and um, there's just tons of way to style this. Sometimes in pre-fall season, which is not quite fall yet, but it's kind of getting cooler, I still like to wear shorts, but I definitely need a jacket. Last but not least, and I love, love, love this one, is a trench coat. I think there's a green and a beige and this black color. The green was already sold out, otherwise I might have gotten this in green and that one in black, but um, I just went with black, but the beige is also really nice. And now that I have it in my hands, I think the beige would be fantastic as well, more brightening, but I just kind of like the cool black look, like, you know, kind of monochromatic. Uh, so yes, uh, one of the details that I was really attracted to is this little patch here on the back and it just gives it a lot of character. This vent flap here is so oversized that it looks so cool when you cinch in your coat. And of course, I love to wear my coats with the collar standing up a lot because it's so much cooler. Um, plus it keeps you warmer. In the front, we have a couple of flaps here too. Um, I think they're really more decorative, but they just look so cool when they're draped. And um, yeah, just oversized pockets, oversized sleeves. You can also sort of um, make it a bit more tight here with the snap button closure. And uh, the closure in front is also snap button, but most likely I will just be cinching my coat with the belt. I love the fact that you'll never lose the belt either because they are smart enough to just secure it on one side and so your belt will always be there. It won't just fall off like a lot of the jackets. I would describe this to be mid-weight cotton. I'll have all three pieces linked down below and of course don't forget to use my coupon code to save 20% at checkout. Okay the exciting and probably the part that you're just you know dying to know. I did buy this pre-loved so it is not a brand new from the retail boutique store, which is why I said earlier that I can't believe that I finally got it and that I've totally missed out when it first came out. I did change the box by the way because it came in a huge box and I just felt like it was so heavy. I just used one of my own box to rebox it, obviously because I've already started using the bag. But um, yeah, it's... It's just the box. <laughs> it's the content that really counts. I think not just for myself, but for a lot of people, one of the most holy grail um, 
item, uh, one of also one of the hottest, and still one of the hottest item that uh, uh, a lot of people were sort of not sure at first, but you know, when it was too late, then they realized that they should have gotten it, or at least tried harder. Which in my case, um, well, in my case, it was due to a different reason. Which, like I said, I'm gonna share w what it is. But let's just unbox it. I don't know why it came in a larger size box because the bag is not that large. So here you have it. This is the original dust bag that it came with. Introducing to you all to be added to my Chanel collection, of course, my beloved brand, the The Chanel Rectangular Mini with the top handle and this is none other than the Caviar version from the 21S Spring Summer Collection. You guys get it now, right? This bag is no longer made in Caviar. The minis are no longer made in Caviar, not only the top handle version but also just any version. Even in the resale market, they're becoming more rare and rare because anybody who owns this are keeping it to themselves or anybody who had this initially had already resold theirs and no longer had theirs and so it's really really difficult to find which is why I of course didn't buy this from the store because it no longer is made from the store. I had actually bought this from a friend here on YouTube so I want to shout out to Fashion Junkie. She is also a fellow Canadian YouTuber. I'll link her channel down below. She sold hers to me and I just, I couldn't believe it. Those of you who do watch her videos might also remember that she got this from a consignment store herself. She got it from Lux Du Jour or Lux Du Jour, which is a consignment store in Calgary. So it's so funny that it's kind of like a 360 because I also recently work with Lux Du Jour. And in fact, if you want to buy anything consignment at Lux Du Jour, you can use my coupon code AMY150 to save $150 uh, off of your first purchase of a thousand, which is so amazing because they normally don't really have coupons. I think the best coupon they have is if you sign up uh, to their mailing list and you get I don't know if it's a hundred dollars, especially because in Canada there's, I mean, I keep saying that there is not a lot of consignment stores. I mean, there are, but it's just that in my own area, I just don't really find that whenever I go to one, I just don't really find things that I like. Uh, and so I find that Lux Du Jour, especially after working with them and really noticing the stock that they get, they get a lot of great stock. They probably get the most Hermes, um, and not just really old Hermes bags, but also newer ones. They also get a lot of Chanel and just a bunch of other brands as well. So I think if you want to shop local, you can definitely check out Lux Du Jour. But even if you're international, they ship international as well. So that's no issue. So yeah, she got it from there and then now I'm buying it from her. So this was on the original box, which I stuck it on uh, to this. Uh, in fact, usually I just stick it onto the dust bag so that I just remember which bag is for which dust bag. And so um, this is the original label from Lux Du Jour. Of course, I couldn't wait to use the bag. Literally the, the moment I received her package, um, I just, I just started using the bag um, but yeah so here you go this is her this is her so it is pre-loved so not only it was a consignment piece from Lux Du Jour or Lux Du Jour um, but uh, she bought it from them and then now I bought it from her so I will say um, the condition was pretty much like new. There was only one thing that I saw and it was like a little sort of scuff from probably from someone who used it. I don't know if it was her or the previous owner. There's just sort of like the scuff. Do you see it? Yeah, I think you see it now. So that was there already when I received the bag, but otherwise um, the bag is in really excellent condition and you know, with caviar especially, uh, they're pretty hard wearing. And so I'm just glad that I was able to get finally a top handle mini. But 
not just in lambskin, which I would have loved in lambskin too. I will still probably be after the lambskin one, especially just depending on what colors they, they have because like last season they had this beautiful gray one with the metal um, top uh, on the handle and it was so gorgeous. But Canada didn't order, or at least Vancouver didn't order any. Because this bag was um, bought from a consignment store, it didn't have the original receipt. It only came with the uh, the box, the dust bag, um, the bag itself, and the original authenticity. And this is a 31 series, which was, you know, the series from 21S. So last year, spring, summer. And yeah, it's pretty much, that's it. Like, it's just caviar. So the inside is also, um, the under flap is also caviar lined. I was also surprised to find out that mine is made in Italy. Because I always thought that it was made in France. But I guess not all of them are. If you're wondering about authenticity, of course, Lux Du Jour guarantees authenticity or your money back but I also myself which I always do whenever I buy a pre-love item I always re-authenticate so I uh, I was asked that as well so I'll link down below again who I use uh, which service I use to authenticate my items I usually just go with Sabina because she's really really good with Chanel items and she's very quick and uh, her services are very very affordable so I'll just link her down below. I now have two rectangular minis but one in the classic style with the grommets and the thicker chain and also now I have this brand new, well new to me not brand new, <laughs> new to me um, top handle version and the top handle version, as you can see, the chain is a lot daintier. Whereas the classic versions, they have much more of a substantial chain. But I love both of these. I, I like that my casual one is in a red color. So that when I wear crossbody, it kind of goes with the vibe, with the thicker chain and everything. And I love that mine is in the caviar. This was one of the last seasons that they did caviar. But... Um, yeah, the only other time that they did another caviar mini was this particular season where they introduced the top handle and I totally missed out. Why? <laughs> I guess that's the story part. Um, I totally missed out because in 2021, I had made the conscious decision to start my Hermes journey and because I was trying to be good, I was trying not to overspend even though I still did because... I'm kind of an emotional shopper, like I said. I can be determined for a goal, but in between when you are kind of being challenged and you get frustrated or whatnot, whatever the reason, right? Then I just want to shop. When this season came out, which was still early 2021, I was still kind of in that mindset where I was being patient. I knew that I just started my journey, so I... I shouldn't just be overspending so quickly. And even though I knew that this particular top handle was gonna be very limited, like that would be the only season that they did a caviar, I still kind of resisted at the time, which was a big mistake because I should have just bought it retail or at least tried to go for it because it was already very, very popular, but I would have been happy with any of the colors that they had, the gold, the silver, the black, the white, I would have been happy with any of those colors. And of course, I didn't pursue it and I thought I was being good. But big mistake because when I'm sure about an item, like pretty sure about an item, I should not just, I should have just act on it. So I I wish I was more of an emotional shopper at that time because I was trying to be too good. In case you're wondering about the price, of course, I had to pay over retail because this was a consignment piece it was a very very hot piece fashion junkie herself had to pay over retail and therefore i have to pay over retail to get this but that's besides the point because you cannot even get this for retail at all anyway um i'll just link to the ones from fashion file because they they sometimes still have it i'm gonna be styling this beauty here a lot you will see her a lot in my instagram especially now that fall is coming it's getting a little colder and you know caviar is more robust 
it can sustain a little bit of raindrops. So thank you, babe, fashion junkie. Hi, if you're watching. Um, and yeah, I will cherish your bag or my bag now very, 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 very much. And um, as for herself, why did she sell it? I think I'm going to let her tell you why, but um, it's probably a very similar reason to my reasons. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I love this bag so much. So I love that. Obviously, you can just wear it on the shoulder. It's a little long, but it's actually a little shorter than my own classic flat. Uh, sorry, rectangular mini. Just mixing up names now. So this one is actually even longer. And of course, uh, they are notorious, these rectangular minis. They're notorious for being super long or having a longer strap. So uh, it's not like a ton longer, but it's still a little longer. Therefore, it only really is suitable for crossbodying um, if you're quite petite and thin as well. So on me, it's just like this is still fine, but this one just falls even better. It's slightly higher. Um, like it's actually falling on top of my hip bone, which is perfect. And it looks so cute. It looks so cute as a crossbody, of course. Um, the top handle doesn't bother me, not even one bit. And um, I love the fact that it's a thinner chain. Obviously, with the thinner chain, if you if your bag is a lot heavier, then yes, you're going to feel the thinner chain more. But because it has a top handle, then the chain being thinner, it actually just acts as a, you know, kind of like jewelry. And it just it's just draped so beautifully and it's just so elegant. And I love that I can now hold it by hand. As you can tell also my red one it, you don't have any other choice you can only crossbody it and it's a little bit more casual that way which is fine because i love that too but um, it's just so nice to have a top handle version because that's why i have been after it for so long as you can see it just it just totally becomes a bit more dressy you know it's a little bit more evening and nighttime appropriate and black is just the perfect color i would have been happy with any color but i just i mean black is always a good idea and i love black so there you have it and of course with my outfit today it looks amazing with this top and just jeans and these cute little um slingback flats that i featured in my last video these are so comfortable these are my favorite shoes out of the three and I love the combo together I will have my whole outfit linked below um, I'll see if I can still find these jeans they're super old these are just Levi's shorts actually I think this pairs so well with the Birkin because it kind of dresses down the Birkin in a good way and it's so cool like that <laughs> I don't know I mean I totally would wear it like this just to kind of make it more jazzy more um more casual and just sort of fun just sort of fun to have such a cool yeah it's just such a cool modern contemporary um funky jacket but also wear your most expensive bag i totally dig this i totally totally love this vibe <laughs>
I will link all the clothes that I tried on today. I will link all the coupon codes. I will link Fashion Junkies channel. I will link Lux Du Jour. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member. We do exclusive live streams for members only and we don't repost those content. And it's so super fun to be part of a very tight-knit, like-minded, a uh, group of people and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye